kind of on time. I just wanted to start early today, and it was a rough day sleeping, rough night sleeping. So that didn't quite happen, so sorry. Apologize for that. But we're here now. Almost done with the video portion of the last project's edit. Almost. It's got like 25 minutes left. And then, and then, I can start to lay in the audio on it. So we are getting there ever so slowly. All right, so when we last left off, we had just put in our bridge, right? And now we have to work on this section. And he put in some more sap green, and I kind of feel like I need to check my, uh, my sketch here, because I can't remember what color... I did for the base of this section. I have a feeling it's going to end up being um, hunter greens. So I don't really know why I'm checking, but mm. Kind of more of varsity. And then Hunter. But he wanted it dark. Hmm. Let's hit play here for a minute. Okay, then he's coming in and highlighting the road. Okay. It's in the brown. He's doing like cattails and shit back there. Or something. Okay, then let me guess, he's going to start doing our, our grassy things down in there. Okay, well he was like, he wanted it dark, and then he starts putting, well maybe we don't have to go quite so dark in that section. Because, yeah, he really... Okay. Alright. Okay. Hold your horses, Bob. You need to back that shit up. Look, the paint just disappears. Okay. So we're going to pause him there. We do need to pop back into our... Um, our hunter green for just a minute though because 
there's something in there that I want to adjust in the background here because he's got it kind of goofy, I guess. Right, the technical terms here. Goofy. Very highly technical. Like it's not a straight thing here. It's kind of wild and willy nilly and all. Back in the back here. Which is something I had wanted to uh, deal with last time. And I kind of ran out of time to deal with it. But we're going to take care of that right now. Because it really shouldn't be a full on straight line back here. So we're going to kind of work on fixing that up just to get it a little bit more uh, I don't know wild I guess overgrown sort of situation oh and um, for those that want to see this tutorial in full without me hitting pause and you know sound and shit um, you can go to the Bob Ross YouTube channel, and that link will take you there. Hello, honey. How are you? Hope all is well today. I just realized I forgot to open something. And I am on the wrong link. I keep forgetting that that YouTube window hijacks everything. Where am I going? Why am I asking you guys? You don't know where the hell I'm going. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I forgot to open stream elements to make sure we're signed in. To make sure that alerts are gonna happen. We're making loads of progress. It looks pretty, oh, thank you. Yeah, it'll, it'll like be kind of stalled out for a little bit and it doesn't look like anything's really changing and then all of a sudden, bam, it'll be progress city. I'm almost done the speed felt edit of the last Bob Ross project. That one's been taking me a bit. I had to start over partway into it because um, I'm learning new editing software and this new stuff is a little more involved than um, the last program I had, but I don't have the other program anymore. When we had to swap the PCs, um, since this one's on Windows 11, the other one wasn't really compatible with 11, um, with the version I had of it, and uh, this is what the husband uh, came up with, and he's like, here, try this, and I'm like, uh, okay, so, um, yeah, it's a little bit harder to, uh, well, not harder, slower for me, and, uh, my mind kept wandering while I was, uh, trying to edit this last project, so I'm not quite sure what the final one's gonna look like, because I caught myself fucking up the edit a couple times, and I'm like, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? I just couldn't focus on it. And I kept, tr my mind kept wandering off to other stuff and then I'd come back and I'm like, what were we doing again? And I'm like, oh, we're on this. And I'm like, looking at it. And I'm like, no, I don't think I was. And last night at one point, I clicked part of the timeline I hadn't edited yet and sped that up by accident. And I'm like, wow, I'm almost done. And I looked at it, I'm like, what did I do? It's been quite the uh, 
the journey on that edit. But, uh, it, it's also, you know, like, what was it? 13 live streams of at minimum two hours. So, a couple were three. One was almost four. This one will probably be about 15 or 16 sessions since I have hard stop times now. Because of circumstances changing a bit. But that's okay. We'll get there in the end. The journey's half the fun, right? So... Just make sure that you guys are subbed to the YouTube channel. It's free to do that. It's the same name as the channel here. Because that speed felt will go up on there. And that's just me taking all of the live streams it took to complete that particular piece editing out all of my talking with my hands and pauses and where I'm flipping the thing over and all of that, which is a nightmare <laughs> on that last piece. But one day I must have been going off about something and I have no idea what the hell I was going off about, but like every 10 seconds I was flipping my hands everywhere and I was getting so mad at myself. I'm like, girl fuck were you doing? Like, stop it. But, um, we're not anywhere near done the series yet. I mean, we're, we're like, what, halfway through? It's hard to say you're halfway when there's 13, but I don't know if we're doing all 13. There's one I'm still undecided on. So we might be about halfway through. I am thinking of adding in an extra art day, but I don't know for sure yet. It kind of depends. See, the husband used to have Tuesday and Wednesday dedicated open. Tuesday because um, he would... Uh, do Dungeons and Dragons with his group, but um, that's kind of fallen apart now because of schedules and stuff, and um, his co-DM is also a player, they swap back and forth. Uh, his life circumstances have gotten crazy, and um, he had to go back to full-time while he's going to school. Um, full-time work because part-time they weren't giving him enough hours so they had to kind of put a hold on Tuesday's game and the one person could hardly make it half the time so just people's lives got busy that's really what it came down to um, life got in the way basically and um, it happens so they're gonna try to pick that back up. I don't know. There was talk of them trying to pick it back up in the fall. Now I don't know when they're gonna try to pick that back up. Um, Wednesday used to be his dedicated day just to hang out with our friend. They would watch stuff together um, on Discord or they would bullshit D&D &D, or they would try to play a game if Russell could muster up the the will to do so and uh, they haven't really been able to do that lately because well our friend had well Russell was sick for a couple of weeks and then he's still kind of sick he's getting better though and then um, our friend had finals 
He's got about a year and a half left on his degree. He finished the one degree and then he was going back to for an add-on, I think. I don't know, some kind of computer electronics or IT rep I don't remember what it is. And I feel bad that I don't remember, I just don't. But, um, we don't know what his class schedule is going to look like with him doing full-time come the fall. So I don't really know what to expect. So I'm toying with trying to add in an extra day somewhere. Or... Or there's always the possibility of Saturday having art added back to it um, when him and I are done our extra planet zoo day. That's kind of why I've been dragging my feet adding another art stream to Wednesday. Kind of wanting to wait and see how long our planet zoo challenge game is going to go for. I don't know um, when he's gonna I don't know if lose interest is really the word just get tired of it or how much his computer is gonna take because his computer is older than mine Or my computer was the old one and so we had to swap it to the new one I just finished going through all of my music that was on the old computer some of it you know it's kind of funny because you accumulate music over time right and then when you actually sit down and go through all of it or at least for me it's like wow I haven't listened to this in forever and when you're listening to it you're like I think I've outgrown this person they're just, they're not doing it for me now. So some stuff, I didn't get rid of much. I got rid of a little bit. I'm like, if I haven't listened to it in over two years, or can't remember the last time I listened to it. God, I have a whole leather bound, well, it's not really leather, fake leather leather like um cd case full of cds i'm like oh well i have the hard copies and i'm like oh i don't have a disk drive i swear if you've bought it once they shouldn't make you have to rebuy a digital copy of it. It's like, I already own this. Why do I have to buy another format of it? This is dumb. But I don't even really know any of the newer music artists, really. I don't really listen to the radio. When we're in the car, we're either listening to The Dollop. So Russell has something to focus on. Aside from driving, like he needs the brain engagement, I guess. To be somewhere else at times, but more like in sections that don't involve a lot of turns and stuff or if it's someplace he knows how to get to by heart. If we have to involve the GPS, then we're usually not listening to anything. 
so we can hear the GPS. Right, that looks a little better. At least it's not a straight line anymore. It's a little more roughed up there. I know it doesn't look like much of a change. And it really isn't that much of a change, but it does make a difference. Not a huge one, but one nonetheless. find time to refill the fluff bags here. That's for certain. We are getting down to the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. Well, I'm hoping I'll be done this one edit before we're done with this project. That way I can have a couple of weeks, or at least a week, of uh, not doing speed felt editing. I'm in the middle of a gouache painting that I'd really like to finish recording. But right now my brain is like, no, you're not recording anything new until you get this thing finished being edited. Because I did delay starting to edit it a couple of weeks because I knew we were going to be replacing that PC. But I didn't want to be in the middle of said edit. And then that PC died on me, so I was like, oh, that happened. Like, well, it was a good thing we weren't trying to rush the edit. I've got to replace this mat soon. The dome is getting worse. It's getting worse, Captain. Maybe for my birthday. My birthday, we're gonna try to replace my glasses. That's been a long time coming. I'm about four or five years overdue on that. I really shouldn't be letting it go that long, but glasses are expensive. And I'm kind of nervous about ordering them online, but Russell did his through Zenny. Hasn't had any problems with his. So we might give it a whirl. Let's see if we can make it work, because it'll be about half the price than if I even go through Walmart. I think I finally, well, no, I'm kind of torn between three different frames right now. spent so many years having like uh, frameless, rimless, where the arms are just kind of drill mounted into the lens. And the ones I had from Lens Crafters, I liked them, and they sort of kind of became invisible. Some people didn't even register that I had glasses on um, for a while, and then I liked them. But they were so thick, and since there was no frame around them, when we would go outside, even though I had the transition lenses, I would see like these rainbow prisms through the bottoms of the lenses, the way the sun was going through them, and I'm like, this is kind of annoying. Um, I don't have that 
weird rainbow prism effect on these particular lenses that I have now. These are um, for, uh, rimless too, but um, these ones that I uh, end up going ah, ended up getting through Walmart. Can't talk today. Uh, they cracked. I've got cracks in the one lens, and we don't know why, because I've never had that happen before. In the uh, six plus years I had them from lens crafters, they never cracked. The ones from Walmart did. And I don't understand it. I also didn't quite understand why the lenses I got from Walmart were so much thinner than the ones I got from lens crafters. I'm like, huh? I don't understand. My eyes are shit. Why are these lenses thinner? Something doesn't make sense here. So, um, we can get the exam at Walmart for, I think, under a hundred. Or about a hundred. Um, with my mom... Um, with them thinking that she's got glaucoma, I probably need to do all the the extra tests. Would probably not be a bad idea. The last time I did them, they said everything was fine. I was like, uh, okay, let's say so. But I'm torn between there's a pair of pink frames, pink metal, they're a half frame. And they go across the top, and the bottom doesn't have a, a rim on the lens. Um, there's a blue-silver version of it. There's a black version of it where it goes all the way around and the arms have like a filigree delicate uh, pattern cut into them or just a simple black wire frame and I'm not sure which one I want to go with. I'm kind of leaning towards the pink ones. I looked for a flamingo pattern. They didn't have one. It was very sad. Part of me wants to check lens crafters. Just out of curiosity. hard to find a flamingo print frame. <laughs> but then again, I don't know if I'm going to like the... I've had rimless for so long. Suddenly going back to um, rims in my vision it might piss me off. So I'm, I'm not sure... How I want to handle that. I know something has changed, so the prescription has to get redone or rechecked or something because when I try to look at fine print, these glasses make it hard. Like I can see it, but my eyes are like, what the fuck are you doing? 
like I can focus but it's uncomfortable and these glasses are for far away which I'm surprised because they're like oh you can leave them on all the time and I'm like really I'm like yeah they told me this when I was younger I think they were just trying to fuck my eyes over more but I'll tell you what <laughs> I don't think I could leave them off now. Like, I don't think I could function taking them on and off. Because whenever I take them off, the prescription is so strong. Can't see. I can see, but everything's extra fuzzy like a foot in front of me like I can see it but did you weed back already uh, no I haven't weed back I had to come in oh, okay let's say I didn't hear you <laughs> trying to get yard work done so the city doesn't lose their shit it's like god damn it we don't feel well It'll get done. Keep your pants on. Not like it was that high. I mean, well, the front was getting a little high, but we did cut that last week. But we had a shit ton of rain, so, you know, I'm not going to destroy our lawnmower. He's having a shit fit. Alright. I mean, it wasn't like knee high or anything. Fuck's sake. I guess because we're on a main road, they're a little more anal retentive about it. They don't seem to care that my wildflowers. <laughs> we went to Dollar Tree. Was it last year? And they had um, these boxes of. Uh, it was before the dollar twenty-five changes, and everything was still a dollar. Um. And uh, we got a box of wildflower mix, or hummingbird mix. Something. We got a couple different ones. I don't remember which one it was exactly. Um, we've had a couple different guys, and, uh, I was about to call it done on this one, but you know what, I think we need just a little bit more on this side. And, uh, you know, we're like, oh, cool, you know. Check this out. It's probably not going to grow. Because, you know, it's a dollar seed mix. I We didn't have much confidence in it. But we're like, eh, let's give it a shot. It's a dollar. What are we out, you know? So, um, it grew. Boy, did it grow. Um, the one keeps coming back. And I'm like, oh, okay. No idea what it is. But damn, we had put them in our front planter box because we didn't think they were going to grow very tall, you know? We didn't think these were tall flowers in here. If they did grow, and that's where we had space, and holy shit. This one flower is, like, waist high, and I'm like, what? It, it grew, like, the stalks, the stems are that long before the flower even started. And I was like, why are you so tall? And you're making the yard look bad. <laughs> You're making the yard look overgrown, and it's not. And it started out in this one planter, right? And now this year, it's all growing in front of our planter box, where we didn't even put it. And I was like, um... Hi, what are you doing over here? <laughs> so either the birds or the wind... Decided to, uh... 
help us garden a little bit and I was like oh okay but you look really bad right there because uh, you're you're so tall right on the edge of the road there it's like taller than the planter box that's behind it and I was like oh boy I'm just hoping the city doesn't throw a shit fit about them I haven't said anything yet, but I don't know if it's just that nobody noticed, or they've been too busy dealing with other shit. So I've been in the middle of a, I guess, monitoring contractors switching out water lines down the other end of town. I thought they had completed the town, but I guess they hadn't. I guess they ran out of money. It seemed like they were replacing them forever up here. Because it was constantly muddy looking, rusty looking water for days and days and days while they were doing it. I haven't noticed too much of the rust-colored water lately, so that's something, I suppose. Alright, so we're gonna stick you over there. Okay. Now, he does come in. Ooh, excuse me. It was tough sudden sleeping to last night. Russell's having a rough night, so he spent the night in here with me after I went to bed. He started out in the other room and he just he couldn't sleep. And that's fine. And it was all fine until Zuzu figured out that hey, daddy's in the in the main bedroom. And Zuzu's a cuddle bug. He used to cuddle with me, and then he cuddled with my mom, and then I was like second choice on the list. But it turns out I'm really third choice on the list, because um, whenever he figures out that Russell's actually in bed with me, he's like, ooh, shit, that could have gone really bad. He's like, oh. Daddy's in here, and then he has to get in between us. And it's terribly cute and all. That's not really the issue. The issue is he insists on sleeping between us, and um, he shoves his feet into my back, and he's practically pushing me off the bed. I'm like, sir, excuse me, what are you doing? And he just has this look on his face of like, deal with it. And I'm just like, really? Thanks, bud. All right, so we didn't, we kind of saw this part briefly in the very beginning of the tutorial where oh it's starting to get a little misshapen now not too bad though not too bad um where he was putting these cattail guys in <clears throat> it's kind of surprising because he just kind of only really put in that one spot That one lone stand of cattails. <laughs> this is probably not visible on the camera. 
Eh, very faintly. Sorry about that. Sort of dark on a medium dark. You kind of see the one poking up there. That's all right. We'll start to lay in the the other grass. It might become more visible once we get this filled in. Right now, I think it's just so much light getting kicked back from. Uh, plus, your your screen might look bigger than mine. My previews are very tiny. I was talking about something and now I can't remember what the hell it was I was talking about. Because my brain. Oh yeah, so we checked out our photos from the zoo trip two weeks ago, three weeks ago. None of them came out. Russell had the camera set wrong. He thought he had it on the right setting, and um, all the photos are blown out. They're overexposed. I think he had changed it for one particular um, building we were in. And then he thought it was going to like auto-adjust the rest of it. Thought he was on the auto setting and he wasn't. <clears throat> the, the, the good cameras are nice when you can figure out all the settings, but we're still trying to figure them all out. Originally had gotten it for um, for good shop photos, and then I closed the shop recently on Etsy because I didn't like what they were doing, and I can't. I just can't handle that right now, so. I wasn't really making any money on Etsy. I sold a couple of things, but I was really losing money there. So I might see about reopening on eBay once I get enough stuff to bother posting on there. I've got a couple things listed on Kofi. Trouble is though, I can only ship in the US right now. I don't have the funding to uh, ship internationally. So right now I'm shipping free US on Kofi, through Kofi. Um, there's only like three things up there though. I have to see about adding a couple others. Uh, just haven't had the time or the energy to really fuss with that. This looks so strange that it's the only one in here. I wonder if there was supposed to be more and he just didn't have time. Alright, but uh, I might redo the eBay shop at some point. If I do, I'll let you guys know. I did make a little bit of money off of eBay. Not a whole lot. But I did make a little. Alright, so now we have to work on getting 
the same. Because this came in before this got uh, shaded. Yeah, it's starting to bow out a little bit there. I'm not surprised. Like I said, it can do that if it wants. It's not too bad. I mean, we'll, we'll clean up the sides. The only thing that really matters is my bottom and my top, just so I have enough on here to attach the dowels to. Alright, so. This screen's not quite... Oh, where did you come from? Mr. Fuzz. Don't belong in there. So this green's a bit brighter. It's kind of what we leased in through here ever so slightly. And I don't know if this is going to work, but it's a different shade of green. And he's just going to end up putting like the cad yellows and the okras and stuff on top of it so that we have this dark stripe in the background. So I'm okay with us uh, doing this. So yeah, I don't know what happened, but last week's live stream has gotten a crazy amount of views on the YouTube channel. I'm not complaining, I'm just confused. I'm like, like maybe 10 would be a lot. It's up to 69 in like under a week and I'm like, huh? I mean, it's cool. I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised, that's all. I'm not used to that, getting that many views. One of the first ones, not the first one, but one of the first Bob Ross projects we did started picking up a lot of views all of a sudden. I was like, um, oh, oh okay. Like, you're over a year old and people are hitting you up? Alright, I guess. <laughs> sure. I don't understand, but that's okay. A views of you, I guess. It'd be cooler if, you know, that the YouTube channel was monetized and I was getting something out of it. I'm not. The only place that we're even remotely monetized is here. We've got a long ways to go before we can even attempt to apply for the, uh, the YouTube monetization. Like, a long way to go. <laughs> Before they'll even let you fill out the application. I do wish that YouTube had a few more categories that you could post under. And it really surprises me that they don't have an art category. Why don't we have an arts and crafts category? YouTube, I don't understand. So like my options to post the art videos are under entertainment or people and blogs and I'm like, it's not a blog. And I don't really consider it people. I mean, yeah, I'm in there and I'm talking, but you don't really see me. It's more about what we're working on. I'm like, why? Why? There's so many people that do art and shit on there. Why do we not have an arts and crafts category? Why? Is it some secret partners only category? Like, I, I don't, I don't understand. Make it make sense.
Alrighty. Working on getting this tapped in here. spot. We've got so much fiber in this front section. It either wants to be bowed back or bowed forward. It's like, nope, these are the options. We really do have a lot of fiber laid down in there though, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to actually overlap that just a little bit. On the edge. I don't want to go too crazy there though. So we will be doing um, Planet Zoo and um, Coral Island might be put on pause when D4 comes out um, for a couple of weeks. We'll, we'll get back to it, I promise. Um, but uh, husband and I want to play D4 together and we need to look into the co-star, guest star thingy, because we might try to stream it on each of our channels. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see how much it bogs down our net. It's either that or one of this, um, see, I don't know, because then we have to go through Discord for the video. If we try to split screen it. I don't know if we're going to be able to split screen it. I mean, we were able to split screen Stardew Valley, kind of, but we we're also going through Discord, and Stardew Valley is nowhere near as intensive as D4, so, um, I don't know. We have to do some some looking into options. And figuring out how to make things work with OBS within our limits limitations. You are still being a little bit, I've got like a seam trying to happen here. I'm going to have to bring this up over the edge here just a little bit. in the process of working on like I said that um, that gouache painting and I think I might have to re-wet the gouache again because I think it all dried out 
already. That was a nightmare. It took me like two hours just to get all that. I ended up putting water on it and just letting it soak overnight. So I think if I ever get new gouache, it's going to be in the tubes and not the jelly cups just because it's a pain to deal with it in the jelly cups. Unless it's something I'm using like every day or every few days or something. Like I kind of liked the stuff. The one piece I did had this like weird almost velvety looking soft texture to it and I loved it like I just wanted to touch it. And um but then, you know, that was, I only did like a couple of pieces with it, and then I kind of got distracted and moved on to something else, as what happens, you know, or at least with me. I had plans, oh, I was making plans look into getting stuff to do um, a couple custom latch hook rugs but um, <laughs> that's gotten shoved right to the back burner for the time being because some other stuff is taken a financial nosedive, so it's just one of those things that's gonna have to wait. Sorry I'm going over this one section, what seems like a lot. This section was a little bit thicker. And I just want to make sure everybody's actually attached in here. I mean, we are going to have bits of other color coming over this, so this doesn't really need to be super, super thick, but I also really didn't want that much um, gray shining on through here. going by those that are new here we live on a busy street there are traffic noises I mean at least we don't live next to the train station right Although that would only be at like select times a day. I used to live next to one um, up in Jersey. It wasn't like a very busy train station. It was mostly just, um, well, once in a great while there would be a freight train on there. Once in a great, great while. Um, but the freight trains kind of dwindled when... Um, when New Jersey Transit started running, um, <coughs> excuse me, kind of, I guess you call them commuter trains back and forth to Philly from Atlantic City. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, the one place I lived in growing up was like right below the train station because it was up on an elevated track. And uh, there was two trains that ran through there. Hold on a second. Oh, that sneeze made my throat start itching something terrible. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so there was two different trains. There was an express Amtrak. And that fucker just plowed through like this, like pictures on our walls would shake. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy shit. Wow, that like just opened the sinus floodgates. And then there was the New Jersey Transit. I think Amtrak stopped running on there. They stopped running for a while and then they brought it back and I think they were calling it Nacella Express to like New York or something. And then I think they ended up nixing that because they weren't getting enough uh, business maybe? I don't know. It's still the local, um, not really local either, it's still the commuter train from Philly that's on there the most. Because a lot of the casino workers actually live in Philly. And a number live between Philadelphia and Atlantic City. I'm like, how can you stand? I mean, I get a job's a job. But are you actually making enough money to justify the like two hour train ride from Philly down to here? Hour and a half? And the late schedule sometimes, most of the time it was running late, and then the track work where you're having to take the bus. I'm like, are you really making enough to justify this? A lot of them were dealers, so they probably were making a fair amount in tips. And then there would be a fair number of suit and tie people, which meant that they had a higher license than the grunts on the floor. So they were probably making enough to justify it. Because <clears throat> that license alone is expensive. My license was... Oh god, how much was it? I want to say the base license was $600 and then the renewal was like $300 as what I I might be misremembering that but but no I don't think I am because it sounds high right but I mean I could go look but I don't feel like it um the I was just like a basic level. I think the key licenses, which are what I like to call suit and tie people, um, the ones that had to look professionally presentable, um, I believe those licenses were $1,200. Out of pocket. However, the casinos would sometimes quote unquote help you get your casino key license. <coughs> Holy fuck, are you okay? Yeah, sorry. Just um, they would help you get your key license which was the next step above mine. 
and they would reimburse you the cost that you paid to get it, but you had to agree to stay with them for three years. And I'm like, damn, I don't know about that. Cause they tried to get me to, um, to become a part-time exec in the, <clears throat> in the office. So I would have been considered a dual rate position at that point where, um, certain days of the week I would be sitting at the front desk and making decisions on files and other days of the week I would be a grunt and be in the back office doing the paperwork side of things where I would not be allowed to make decisions on files. Um, I just, I was like, man, I don't know about this. I really don't want to be on that side of the counter. I don't think I can hold a straight face. Like my face is very expressive when I get upset. And I get upset easily and I get flustered easily and I'm just like, yo, I don't know about this because if some asshole high roller starts screaming at me, I'm just going to start like crying my eyes out. I know it. And I'm like, uh, I don't really want to be in the position to tell some drunk asshole no because also, the desk that they had to sit at was in a corner. There was no way to escape, except for one way. <coughs> and I'm like, I don't know about this. While being in a corner can be comforting because you've got sides on you, I also felt like there was only one way in and out of that office. And it kind of felt like you were trapped if shit went down. So I'm like, I, I mean, I would be trapped in the back too, but there was a lot more between me and somebody else. And, you know, we all had panic buttons all over the place to hit to uh, bring, to dis have security descend upon the area. Um, Security didn't carry guns though, so they carried walkie talkies. Maybe handcuffs. Maybe. But even that I'm not 100% sure of at the time. Hi, Momo. <sighs> Hi. Give me a minute, buddy. You gotta wait. Hi. I love you. Thank you for coming to visit me. I don't have any food. I promise I don't. I don't have anything cute, buddy. Although I am going to have to blow my nose here in a second. Because the snuffles are driving me crazy. And that casino had been robbed once before. I think somebody got shot too. It was that particular part of the cage that had been robbed previously because we were told stories of how they tried to make a get uh, a getaway down the back stairs that um, went out to the fire exit that the dealers also took down to get to their lounge. Oh, and Zuzu's now here. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. All right, give me one minute, you guys. If I can find my screen here. Be right back.
Okay, sorry about that. Alright. So this is where things start to slow down again, is when you're putting in the, the large blocks of color. I can definitely see how that's bowing out a little bit. I'm actually surprised it took that long to get there. <clears throat> but like I said, the sides we can clean up a bit. It's not too, too bad. We did pretty good though. Keeping it somewhat even. For as long as we did. Oh, it is one of those days where the joints just hurt. I don't know why. It just seems to be. Alright, so I don't put a whole lot of pressure on that bit there. It was just kind of Holding that in place gently. So he cut the grass, and Momo made me take him out right when we were about to get started. It's only been an hour. I'm surprised that he wants to go out again already. I think it was more of a fact that, oh, daddy had something to eat, so mom must have something to eat. But Zuzu showed up for afternoon potty, so maybe they just wanted to go outside and see what dad did. It's entirely possible. to get more firewood. I'm not entirely sure where we're going to get it from. The last bit I think he got from tractor supply. That seemed to burn okay. We were getting some from harps but they stuck in like some cedar into it and immediately when it started to burn we both got super 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 stuffy Also in the middle of another needle felting project that I really want to get back to, but I haven't had the energy in the middle of recording that one as well. around here but we were going to the next town over to go to their harps grocery store the one day because um, we were curious because that the next town over's location is a little bit bigger than the one in ours and um, that's all sorts of Fucked up looking now, this side. 
I don't know why somebody thought this was a good idea. I don't quite understand. But somebody saw a dead armadillo on the side of the road. It hadn't been squished or anything. Um, he was still all fully intact, legs all up in the air. And I guess they thought it was funny to, uh, to do this. I really don't understand. Um, I thought when we had drove by it that they had just set beer cans next to him. Apparently somebody stopped and took a photo of it. Somebody had zip tied the beer cans to his feet and I'm like, really? That seems a little much. I mean, sitting next to it was, was already kind of, why? But, um, zip tying it to the dead armadillo's feet, I just, that's a whole new level of what the fuck. I think this person needs a hobby. And they had to have done that in like the middle of the night or something because, or maybe they were drunk when they did it. Um, that would explain a bit. Because that road, those cars pick up quite a bit of speed. And it's a decently traveled road during the day. And somebody would have seen them doing it during the day too. And nobody's owning up to who did it. I mean, I really wouldn't be touching the armadillos around here. I don't think the ones around here um, carry leprosy. But come on, it's dead. It got hit by a car or something. Must we? I don't know. Maybe it- I mean, I, I know they were doing it for a laugh, but... Apparently, from what other people were saying, it's a thing down here. It's the first time I've ever seen anybody do it, so I'm like... Is it really a thing, or are we just trying to, uh... Make this a thing? Because I've really never seen this and all the times I've seen dead armadillos. And we've seen our fair share of dead armadillos in the road. And in the sides of the road. Just like, really? <clears throat> like, okay. I feel like we're just trying to excuse bad behavior, but alright. Now we've had bear sightings in the area again, but that's not that unusual. That has happened. At least they're not going through town. The last time that they came real close to town was when they were traveling near the tennis courts. The people had gotten visuals on them in a neighborhood, and I was like, oh boy, they're like, stay inside, stay away from them. It's a mother with cubs. Don't fuck with it. Keep your distance. Um, somebody had video of it shaking the corn out of their corn feeder. Which kind of is fucked up in a way also, but I'm not going to go there today. <clears throat> but, uh, you know. 
And uh, all, all the news article, news report said was near our town. And I'm like, how near our town? Is it like in city limits? Is it outside city limits? Is this like an hour from here? <laughs> like how near to the town is this? Because we, we should know. Because there's been mountain lion sightings as well. But apparently, according to some folks that say when they try to report it to Fish and Game, Fish and Game is like, there's no mountain lions here. You didn't see a mountain lion. And they're like, yeah, I did. And they're like, that's impossible. There are none here. And um, apparently now Fish and Game is starting to, with the number of reports that are coming in, are starting to say, hmm, there might be. But we have no concrete proof. One person supposedly, supposedly, caught a picture of it on their game, uh, game trail, trail, game camera, trail camera. But it was definitely a picture of a mountain lion. And some people swear they've seen them for years. Russell thinks we may have heard it actually a couple of times, not realizing that's what it was. And the last reported sighting was about three to four blocks from here. So I'm like, hmm, right. Sure. Definitely no more midnight walks for a while. Actually, I wonder if that's why we haven't heard the coyotes lately. I'm wondering if the mountain lion chased them. Although, if it's a pack of coyotes, I might be able to take a mountain lion. I don't know. But one person was like, yeah, my dogs were going nuts. And we heard this, like, animal, large animal huffing noise on the other side of the fence. And Are we crazy? We think it might have been a mountain lion. And I'm like, were your dogs inside or outside? Did you leave them outside? Did you not bring them in? Because, honey, your dog's not going to survive against a mountain lion. I'm like, holy shit, people. There's so many people that leave their dogs out all night. And then somebody else voiced the same thoughts that I had been having lately about all the loose animals that have been getting posted about. Oh, I found this dog. I found this dog. I found this dog. Like, yeah, animals get out. It happens. But with the rate that they get out around here, I'm, like, I'm not talking about like the accidental get outs. It's the, oh, I let them out to go potty. They always come back. They didn't come back this time. We have a leash law in this town, motherfuckers. <laughs> we have a leash law for a reason. If you're that lazy that you can't take your dog out to go potty on a leash, then invest, invest in a pen or a fenced in yard or don't have the dog they always came back before their dogs if something's more interesting they're gonna go investigate they're gonna be like oh what's that smell I've never smelled that before They're gonna go look. And then they're gonna be having so much fun off on their adventure that sometimes they can't find the way back home. Just. Ugh. Just come on now. This 
sorry, but if that's how you're gonna handle your dog, you don't deserve to have one. There was a brief amount of time that we let them go out without their leash on in our backyard. We were always with them though, we just didn't put them outside and shut the door and come back 10 minutes later. We were always right there on them. And then they stopped listening and we're like, okay, nope. The lore of what's that? I want to go investigate. And the call of adventure got to be a little too much and we're like, nope, 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 that's a busy road. Even though it's a side street, it was very busy. And one of them just about ran into it before they finally stopped and came back to Russell. And I'm like, nope, we've lost all leash privileges in our own backyard because there was no fence there. If you're not going to listen. I didn't really like them being off the leash to begin with, but... I would never, ever, ever let them outside without their leash and then not be with them either. That's just asking for trouble. So there's a few people that think nothing of it on city limits or just outside city limits. And they're like, oh, it's a farm dog. I'm like, well, it's a farm dog. Why is it off your farm? Is it supposed to be protecting livestock or something? Working? It doesn't seem like it's working. It seems like that dog's like, fuck this shit. I did what I want. Because people would be like, oh yeah, that dog used to come and visit me all the time. Like, really? Maybe I just don't understand the mentality out here. It's not dirt country roads anymore, guys. There's semis and all kinds of shit running through here. We're, we're paranoid enough about the outdoor cat that's decided that we're one of his pit stops. But we've seen him have a healthy fear of the road. And he would be inside by now if we didn't have any other cats. There's no room at the inn. And we're still not entirely convinced he doesn't belong to somebody. Since he'll like disappear for a day or two and then show back up. And we don't know where he's disappearing to. So I do have a little bit of a gap on this section right in here. I'm gonna leave that be for right now. Um, because we're gonna come back in with um our yellows and stuff and our lighter greens. Sorry, the dog walked up behind me. I was trying to see what he was doing. Um, I think he's hungry and looking for a snack because he just kind of smelled his dog food bowl and decided it wasn't that interesting. We just put fresh food in there not that long ago. Maybe a day or two ago. Um, yeah, so I'll I'll deal with that when we bring in the other color here. Oh, 
All right. So. Yeah. I got a little. A little funny in there, but that's okay. So I probably don't have to do this this solidly in through here. However, um, I noticed when we were doing it up here, like I've still got a section up in here where I've got a little bit of what looks like the felt color trying to pop through, or maybe it's like the back side of the shadow of our path, maybe. I got a weird light color in there and I'm not sure where it came from. So I just want to try to get the majority. of stuff kind of filled in here. <coughs> as much as we can. Just so we don't have any weird obnoxious splits when it comes to uh, putting in our grass in a little while. So yeah, this color green definitely makes this green look a lot darker. What are you doing, Oompa? They're both kind of looking at their dog food bowl and they're like, mm, I don't know. Buddy's dinner's not for like another two hours by the time it's done. Doing homemade chicken nuggets tonight. And probably rice. And maybe some broccoli. I've got some chicken breasts in the fridge thawing from last night, so I'm going to cut those up into chunky chunks. And then I've got some panko breadcrumbs. We're going to flour, egg wash, and then panko. And then I'll throw those guys in the oven. They bake up pretty good, they're pretty crunchy. And I don't have to deal with all the grease and oil and oil terrifies me. That's one thing I have trouble cooking with. Like, I can do a little bit in the bottom of the pan, but deep frying something? Oh, no, 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 no. That scares me way too much. I would need, like, oven mitts the length of my arm 
to even think about attempting to deep fry something like full on protective gear. <laughs> That's just not going to happen for me. <laughs> it was bad enough when I was trying to um, pan fry french fries the one day. Some of the oil splashed up like a good six inches out of the pan, scared the shit out of me. I'm like, oh, don't hit me. Don't hit my arm. Please don't hit my arm. Because that would have fucking hurt. And like, it didn't happen while it was just cooking. I was trying to put something in there and I put it in it so, so gently. And then it's like, oh shit. So it's not like a splash, uh, a splatter shield would have done much for me there. I started, I grabbed a pot lid <laughs> that fit that pan just to use it as, a, as my own little shield. I'm like, stay back. It's like, don't you dare. Felt so ridiculous. I'm sure I looked ridiculous too. But we don't have George anymore, so George was our aloe plant, so I can't exactly go outside and we have some emergency aloe plant. He got so big that we had to put him outside. And then the cold ended up getting him. So we just didn't have room for him in the house anymore. I think we missed our window to get spider plants, although we still haven't looked at Lowe's. Russell wants one for the crabs. To uh, put in their tank. getting there. Slow progress. But still progress. I think I might end up grabbing a little bit more of our dark um, our dark green there. I'm just putting a little bit in front of this guy. Possibly. Oh yeah, you can see the a little bit stronger now. The little cattaily thingies. Or branches, whatever the heck that was supposed to be that he put in there. this bottom edge gets a little uneven. I mean, I'm really not that terribly worried about the sides getting uneven either. Um, it is something that we'll have to clean up. When we go to finish this. still have to figure out what color I want our dowels to be to frame this guy out. The last one I did white and there's really no white in here. So I don't think that's going to work. Like I wanted to bring a color in that was in here already. There's too much green and there's too much brown. I don't want it to be that dark. So 
yellow might not work. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe our purple um, from the sky. Or a really, really light, light brown. Might also work. I'll have to do um, like a swatch on paper. And see how I feel about it up against it. Before I really commit to the, what color we're going to go with. I mean, we can look at white, but I just don't know. if white is going to be our better option here. I'll look at it. I, I won't completely discount it. Maybe it'll be the pop of brightness it needs. Hmm. We'll see. supposed to rain or something because damn there's rain down in south Arkansas um not till Wednesday oh that's only 50% chance Oh, isolated thunderstorms Memorial Day. Hmm. We might be grilling the day before. Can't believe it's gonna be Memorial Day weekend already, you guys. So people really need to reread their headlines before they hit post because Windows 11 likes to give me news alerts right and down on my menu bar I'll get this like circle with a number inside of it in red for how many breaking news headlines there are that should really have my attention I'm like what the fuck's going on and um, a headline just popped up. These regions in the US are experiencing poor quality due to Canadian wildfires. I'm like, I think there's a word missing in there. Shouldn't it be poor air quality due to Canadian wildfires? I don't know. That headline just reads funny to me. And uh, it doesn't make much sense with the word missing. But then again, what do I know? Apparently not much. All right. It's not exactly cold in here, but it's chilly enough where I'm like, my arms are cold. We did have a cold front go through on Friday. It's been getting down into the 50s at night. It's a little surprising. I'm 
wasn't really expecting it to get quite that chilly. got this green laid in on this side. Yeah, because that guy's just kind of like floating. So I think I'm gonna... I know I have a couple of thin spots. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here. Mm, kind of one there. But I think I think those will be okay. We'll just have to concentrate our other colors coming in to this section on those first. More than likely. Let's see, can you guys see this? I think you can. Camera angle might be a little weird, but I think y'all can see it. Alright. And the fact that it's still bothering me tells me that, yeah, I need to grab some of that dark green and just kind of put something in front of it. The pad's either turning or the project is turning as I'm tapping it. I'm like, what is happening? This thing is twisting. I'm on a shiny, well, it is kind of shiny. This placemat's um, a little slippery for this uh, needle felting mat, so there'll be times in some of the live streams or even in some of the uh, speed felts that I'm editing, you'll see the project just slowly shifting to the side or up or down as I'm going because the force of tapping it, sliding it. I don't have any kind of um, tray to keep it from moving around in. Oh, there's an idea. I wonder. Hmm. So not too much money. Maybe we could get a wooden tray that would be big enough to hold our mat so that way we're not sliding all over the place I'll have to look into that that might actually be worth it oh yeah wow okay That bottom corner like really started to come in on itself there for a minute. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. The wheels are gonna come off the wagon now. That's alright. We're okay. The little bit of wobble that's here is fine. We can fix that. No problem. And it'll probably still like a little bit of a wobble edge when we're done but I've, I'm coming to accept the fact that's just how it's going to be. And it's not so bad once we get it trimmed up and uh, get it finished up because this is how this one looks and it's not really all that wobbly looking anymore. I mean, we did, we did trim up the sides as straight as we could, as straight as I could, but um, so this was the last one that we did. So the... Um, Everything's going to fall now. It's up under my monitor. But the uh, the white on there really did make all the white in here just kind of pop. So that's why I'm undecided about what color we're going to make these new dowel rods. At least I don't think this set I'm going to have to... Uh, I don't think I'm going to have to cut this set. I think they will pretty much be the length of our project here. 
I will have to prime them though. That is very thirsty wood. We might end up doing that on stream together. Possibly, I don't know. Or I might just record that process off stream. Because it takes a while for the glue to dry. Unless I use hot glue. Tacky glue also sets up a little bit faster than the glue I originally tried to use, which just didn't work. It soaked into the felt base too much. And it stiffened the felt up beautifully, but it didn't really attach it to what I wanted it to attach to because it's more of a non-porous glue. Alright, that looks a little better. At least we're not quite floating like we were. What time is it? Alright, we've got a few more minutes. We can uh, get started on the... Sorry, there was a loose couple of fluff pieces there. I didn't see at first. Whoop. Okay. So. Creaky chair. I tend to rock back and forth in my chair, so uh, it tends to creak a bit. All right. So we'll start to get this guy positioned into here. Now I honestly kind of feel like background grass should have come in first. And then this piece. Um, but if we're gonna do it in the order that Bob did it in, then we had to do it this way. But I feel like it would have potentially eliminated a lot of this weird seam overlapping nonsense that we've kind of got trying to happen here. All the fuzz. All the fuzz ever. Just hanging out where it's not supposed to be. these weird flecks are in here. They're like so minute, I don't even think the camera is picking them up. It just might be random little bits of whatever from my desk. It's entirely possible. Alright. So yeah, now that we've got this slightly brighter green coming in, 
It is doing wonders to push this. Uh oh. There it is. To push this other piece back a bit. Is great. All right, that section in there suddenly looked like it wasn't attached. It is, but it didn't look like it. Okay to overlap these two where they come together. We're gonna have that other color coming in anyhow, and it's gonna be like right up against it. So it's not a huge deal. If there's a tiny bit of seam in there, but can attempt to eliminate that potential now the better off will be in the long run less to fuss with later image there. That's fine, we'll get it. I see it. I just want to work on getting our big sections put in here first. Everybody had a good weekend. Or as good as it could be for you. It's not quite over yet, but it is ticking down. Summer's just around the corner. I blinked and it's almost June. Like, what the hell happened? Time moving oddly for me. That's what happened. comes down to. So D4 should be going live on the 6th, I think. We're still trying to figure out how to Diablify a crab and a flamingo. We're 
originally going to try to make the flamingo look like a wizard, but I think we'll just have to diablify it. Maybe give it like the Diablo horns and maybe do like a little flamey aura around it. Maybe have its beak open in like a demonic honk screechy noise thing, I don't know. Don't know if that'll be ready in time for launch. Depends on her husband's up to working on it. This really is the most time consuming part is laying in background color. And we didn't do it all in one go this time like we've done in the past. We've been kind of doing it section by section. less jumping around for us really so so I am coming to enjoy using this gray as our base color that is working out pretty well I think so far It's hard to really get a feel for the gray base in the other one. Because there was so much gray already in it. But, uh, you know, once we got the sides cut off and the whole thing cleaned up, it looked pretty good. Considering it was a piece I had absolutely no confidence in whatsoever. Alright. So I need to get this little guy tucked into here. Just the base of the very base of that side of the bridge. If I do, I do. I'm going to try my hardest not to get too carried away with where we're at at the moment. See how things go here. 
and uh, we'll be back working on this again tomorrow tomorrow we'll see us finishing up this bit of green down in here and um, doing the highlight on our pathway here down the back here a bit just to try to help everybody lay a bit flatter this guy feels very 3d on the back <laughs> doesn't he though oh my goodness okay so I think that's where we're gonna pause for today not bad we got the straight line here kind of broken up so it wasn't quite so odd and um, we got the weird little lone set of cattail sticks or whatever he put in there. I don't understand why he only did one. Um, but that's what he did. It's weird. I don't know if I might put one over here to balance it out. We might leave it alone because there's another tree that comes in. And I think the tree sits over here. If memory serves. There, there's another tree in here somewhere. In the front. So... We might, that might take up that side and kind of rebalance it. Um, and we started to get our grass section in here. Um, we do still have a little bit of a, a gray seam running along in here. I'm going to try not to fuss with that too hard until we get um, our other shades of grass in here. Oh, that's not... Hold on. I'm like, that looks kind of loose there, and I ran my finger over it. Yep, yep, it was. That spot was not completely attached. Alright, that's better. But, yeah, I mean, we're not doing half bad, I don't think, for, you know, our first covered bridge piece. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back to work on this tomorrow. Um, don't forget to follow all the socially places down below because sometimes stuff will show up on the YouTube channel that we don't actually stream once in a while. Uh, but mostly the YouTube channel is for archiving the live streams. The same name is here. Links should be down there. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to try to shoot for normal time. If we go early, we go early. So you might want to turn your notifications on here in case we do go early. If we do end up starting early, it'd only be like by an hour, if that. Um, but sometimes we do a bonus stream that's not on the schedule, so, you know, there's there's also that potential um, happening there. But I do need to go start dinner for my mom, so, um, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. I hope the rest of your weekend finishes out smoothly. Um, I don't think anybody's going here today that we normally go visit. Let me double check though. I know we haven't raided anybody recently, but I'm not always up to raiding other people. Just how it is sometimes. Yeah, so we'll just we'll just call it there today. Um, oh, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. And yeah, we'll be back working on this tomorrow. We're slowly getting there. There's about we're at 18 minutes out of 26 minutes in this tutorial, so we're slowly getting there. Um, so yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. 
and until next time, have a good one.